Another thing I can do is I could use the result of a previous operation in the next operation. Okay, um, so one sort of simple way to do that for now is just to type in the result. So for example, um, maybe uh, I want to uh, take the 45 I got by ad addition earlier and then do something else with it. So maybe I say uh, left paren, uh, let's say I want to subtract from 100 the 45. I could just do that. Okay, but another thing I can do is um, I could combine the addition and the subtraction. I, I can combine multiple operations on the same line, in the same um, kind of sentence, in the same breath. So if I say subtract and then 100, and then instead of saying 45, um, I, I'm just going to put the addition right here. So I'm going to put another left paren. This is the left paren I put for addition. Okay and then space 25 space 20 and now i need two closing parentheses i need two right parentheses the first to close the addition and the second to close the subtraction okay that gives me the same result okay so you, uh, and i can i can do all sorts of different operations like this you know so for example maybe i want to um, first uh, multiply uh, 5 by 4, let's say. Okay, so this is going to be, well, I mean, I could do it in my head, it's 20, but, you know, let's say, we, you know, we don't even need to know that it's 20. You know, suppose I want to take that result and uh, subtract 1 from it, let's say. So then I could put subtraction, but then the first input to subtraction is this result of multiplying 5 by 4, and then the second input might be 1. Okay, so that's going to give me the result uh, of both operations sort of chained together. And chaining operations is really important because that's kind of like the computer science uh, equivalent of taking two um, uh, parts and putting them together. Okay, so when we build big programs, very often we'll be building them in parts and then putting the results together, putting the parts together.